Uh, yeah, today I wanted to cover off a couple of features within our surveillance software. So today specifically, I'm going to be showing you uh, QVR Pro um, on our QTS operating system. Um, but it, it largely doesn't matter which NAS you're using or anything like that. So long as you can, you have a NAS that can run QVR Pro, you'll be able to do everything I'm showing you here today. Um, so the first part is um, on, on the main NAS. So this is just a TS877, one of our older NAS. Uh, but here if I open up QVR Pro, uh, one of the features I wanted to show you was attaching a spare volume um, so that the volume you've assigned for your primary recording storage, if for whatever reason um, it became unavailable, um, you can tell it to, to send the data to somewhere else. So now that unavailable could mean the volume got full, um, or any other reason um, that would take the volume offline. Um, so here we can see I've got just 100 gig assigned to my primary recording volume. Um, I'm recording just two channels here. Uh, so if we were to go look at the, the camera settings, we can see I've got uh, the two cameras that are recording front garden, back of my garage. Uh, so they're recording uh, into this NAS, into that 100 gig volume that's there. Um, but if you go and edit that volume, there's an option at the top there where you've got your allocated volumes, which is the main one I've got at the moment. Um, and I've also got a spare volume option. So with the uh, spare volume option, you can come down here and select a spare volume that you may have set up in your NAS. Um, it can be within the same storage pool or a different storage pool. Uh, and then you can select the uh, the spare volume. So you can click apply. It's going to create a, a spare volume attached to the main uh, to the main uh, recording space that you've got. Uh, so if for whatever reason my primary space or primary volume um, went offline, was unavailable, it's going to record to the other one. So that one's a pretty simple way to set up a little bit of a backup so that if um, there was ever an issue on the NAS um, that it can continue recording. Now, if there was a, a wider issue where the whole NAS itself went offline for whatever reason, um, then your cameras wouldn't be recording because that's where QVR Pro is running, where it is recording your cameras. Um, in this case, I've got a second NAS set up. Um, so although this is the primary one that's set up for recording the cameras um, on this TS877, I do have a, a separate NAS, so just another QTS-based NAS. This one happens to be our TS-983XU, a 1U rack mount unit. Um, but on this one, you can install the sister application, which is called QVR Guard. Um, so this particular NAS, I do not have QVR Pro installed, uh, the full application. I've only got QVR Guard installed. Um, so here it's asking me to do two steps. Um, so firstly, add a recording space and also add a QVR Pro server. So I think I've already added one recording space here. Um, so again, just a 100 gig volume for the demo here. So that one's allocated there. There's nothing written to it because I've not set up QVR Guard yet. Here, if I open up the QVR Guard management option, it says a QVR Pro server has not yet been added. So we're going to click um, add a QVR Pro server. So now it wants the server IP of the QVR Pro. So if I come over here, I can see in the address bar, this is 10.10.0.241 in my case. Uh, so if I come across here, I can go 10.10.0.241. Uh, um, I'm going to leave everything default because I'm just using standard port numbers for the demo. Um, I use the username of Craig um, and I'll type in the password that I used here and click OK. Um, it might give me a warning here. There you go. A little bit of a warning because the NAS aren't perfectly matched. So it's just letting me know that there's a bit of a mismatch. It recommends matching the hardware specifications. Um, so I'm OK with that. So I've um, just clicked OK. It's still going to connect the two together. Um, so here we see that uh, QVR Pro server that's running normally is the TS877. That's primarily doing all the recordings um, and there's sort of a heartbeat link happening between the two NAS now. Um, if the TS983XU, the one that's in standby running QVR Guard, was to ever uh, not get a response from the TS877, um, then it's going to take over the recording. Um, so that's effectively how it's got the two set up. Um, so this is uh, uh, ready to jump in and, and take control uh, should there ever be uh, be an issue with it. Um, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, nip to my garage where these two units are. Um, and I'm going to go unplug the Ethernet cable um, out of the TS-877. Um, so we'll fast forward this little bit of a, a walk that I've got to do there and back. And we should see that uh, the QVR guard um, changes from standby to be the one that's actually recording. Uh, so give me a second here and I'll go um, unplug that Ethernet cable.
Okay, so I've unplugged that Ethernet cable now. Uh, so hopefully in a second the uh, the guard unit here will sense that the uh, primary unit um, has gone down, which is the TS-877, that it's not on the network anymore. Um, so as soon as it's done that, we should see that the, uh, the QVR guard um, changes from uh, standby uh, to say that it's actually doing the recording. So we'll just wait for that to, to populate here. So there we go. We see that it's uh, unavailable um, on the TS-877. We're unable to do it. We see the uh, the log information there saying that it's going to start taking over from the TS-877 and that it's finished taking over from the TS-877. So right now, those two cameras that I had set up over on the TS-877, they are now being um, only recorded uh, to the TS-983XU. Um, so it's took over control and it's now doing the recording. So. If you get your primary unit up and running again, so it could be that perhaps somebody just accidentally unplugged the, the TS-87 like I just did, um, as soon as you plug it back in, um, it will hand over back to the primary unit. So the, uh, the TS-983XU in this example, um, this will switch from being takeover, it will hand it back uh, to the TS-877 when it sees that it has come back onto the network. Uh, so there's nothing to do to, to sort of fail it back to the other NAS. It will take over. It, it is always going to be the primary uh, recording location if it is online. Um, but here's a uh, just a free feature uh, that's a, a sort of sister application within our QVR uh, suite of apps. Um, so we've got QVR Pro, QVR Elite, um, QVR Guard, and we've also got QVR Center if you want to uh, merge multiple QVR Pro or multiple NAS uh, uh, or different sites that you may have all into a single management interface. We have QVR Center for that as well. Um, so that's just a, a little um, insight on how you would set up QVR Pro. Um, first with a, um, a spare volume that's attached to your primary volume. So if a volume ever went down, um, it will switch over to a spare one. And also, if you do happen to have two NAS, uh, you can use the QVR guard feature so that uh, the second NAS can be monitoring the first NAS um, and immediately take over as soon as possible. When it sees that the uh, the primary NAS is down, um, it will bounce over and still do the recording so that you, you have very minimal downtime um, in the recording footage that you're, uh, that you're taking with your cameras. Um, if anybody has any questions about this, please do let us know in the uh, comments section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.